What if I told you that the smartphone in your pocket, probably the most important invention of our lifetime, isn't the end of the story? What if that device is actually already a fossil and we just haven't realized it yet? Just think about this for a second. What if we're standing on the edge of a change so huge it makes the original iPhone launch look like just the opening act, a moment that's going to totally redefine how we interact with technology itself? Because right now, quietly, under the surface of the tech world, something really big is moving. And no, we're not talking about another software update or a slightly better camera. This is a true tectonic shift and is poised to change everything we thought we knew about our personal gadgets. And at the very epicenter of this earthquake is a company that has, in what feels like the blink of an eye, completely redrawn the map of the global economy to become the most valuable company on Earth. We're going to get into exactly who this is and what they're planning. But before we go further, make sure to hit that subscribe button and support Credvia. It genuinely helps us keep making these explainers. All right, so the company we're talking about is, of course, NVIDIA. And the rumor that's sending absolute shockwaves through Silicon Valley is that they are secretly getting ready to jump into the smartphone market. Now, to really get why this is such an earth-shattering possibility, you have to just look at this number. NVIDIA's market value is over $3 trillion. I mean, they've blown past the old giants like Apple and Microsoft. They have the money, the power, and the tech to try something nobody else would even dare to dream of. And look, this isn't just some random internet rumor. We're seeing reports from credible sources, Bloomberg, Nikki Asia, saying that NVIDIA has already told multiple teams to start prepping for a massive consumer project. And their goal, it isn't just to compete, it's to completely overturn the entire market. Word is they could kick things off as soon as 2026. So, you have to ask the question, why? Why would NVIDIA, a company that absolutely dominates the world of computer chips, make a move this ambitious, this risky? Well, internally, the strategy apparently has a very revealing name, democratization of superpower. You see, it's not about just selling another phone. It's about changing the fundamental purpose of a personal device. And this whole vision, it comes directly from the top. The CEO, Jensen Huang, has said pretty clearly that he believes the future of computing is personalized. What he means is that the next logical step is a device in your hand that can handle incredibly complex AI tasks all by itself, completely autonomously. So here's the rumored game plan, and it's kind of brilliant. First, build a device that's just raw power-wise way beyond anything else on the market. Second, and this is the absolute killer move, make it cheaper than the flagship phones. That would kick off a massive price war, sure, but more importantly, it would shift what you even value in a phone. It would move from being about the apps to being about the power of its own personal AI. And that brings us to the real heart of the matter. We're not just talking about a smartphone that has a few cool AI features. We're talking about what insiders are calling the very first truly AI native smartphone. And this really breaks down the difference. Your phone today, yeah, it does some AI calculations, but it's constantly calling home to the cloud. This rumored Neo phone would be its own thing, a personal autonomous intelligence that works completely offline. The joke in the industry is that this wouldn't be a phone with an AI, it would be an AI that can also make calls. So what does AI native really mean? Well, it means that the device's entire architecture, its very soul, you could say, is designed from the ground up for one single purpose, to run massive AI models right there on the hardware without a single hiccup. Everything else, the apps, the camera, the calls, that's all secondary. So here's the crucial point. This part is easy to miss, but it changes everything. Imagine running an AI model as powerful as ChatGPT directly on your phone with zero internet connection needed. It would be like a hundred times faster and infinitely more secure and private than anything that relies on the cloud. That means a true personal assistant that actually understands you without ever sending your personal data to some corporate server. So if this all actually happens, what's the fallout? Really the only way to describe it is as a potential second iPhone moment. You know, a leap in technology that doesn't just create a new product, but completely vaporizes an old industry and rebuilds a new one from the ashes. And the targets are pretty clear. All the established giants, Apple, Samsung, Google, the companies that have dominated this space for over a decade, they would suddenly be on their back foot, forced to play a new game on a field that was designed and is completely owned by NVIDIA. But the disruption goes so much deeper than just the companies that sell you the phone. A truly AI-native device needs a whole new kind of architecture. Everything, from the chips to the memory to how you keep it cool, would have to be re-engineered. 
That could completely upend the entire multi-trillion dollar semiconductor supply chain that's been carefully built around the way we make phones today. When you put all the pieces together, you start to realize this isn't really about a new phone, is it? It's about the birth of an entirely new category of device. It's the beginning of what some people are already calling the post-smartphone era. The end goal, and these are the words of the CEO Jensen Huang, is to create something that's less of a tool you use and more of an extension of your personality. A fully autonomous AI companion that gets your context, your habits, and your needs, sometimes even before you do. And that leaves us with one final pretty profound question to chew on. For the last 20 years, our phones have been tools that we command. Are we about to step into a new era where our devices become companions that actually know us, operating and thinking right alongside us? So, how do you see it? Is this a future we're heading for? Drop your thoughts down in the comments. And if this gave you something to think about, join us at CredVIA by hitting subscribe. You won't want to miss the next one.